What we know is that there was a big explosion at 9.30 local time. It targeted the convoy, as you mentioned, of an ex-minister, Mohammed Shahat, who belongs to the opposition bloc, the 14th of March bloc. He was on his way to a meeting for the bloc when his uh, convoy was targeted along this road. This is a very posh area in Beirut. It's not residential, but it's a vital road to lay that links different sides, different areas in the city in the capital. As you can see behind me, the area now at the moment is completely sealed off by different security teams. There are rescue teams in, on the scene. There are also forensic teams trying to assess the damage and uh, to take some samples from the area. But uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, there is still the wreckage of burned cars. The explosion was so loud that it resonated in different parts of the city. And the radius of the damage is really big. And uh, reports suggesting that it was actually a bomb packed inside a car in a vehicle. At the moment, all these information are mere speculations. We don't have any confirmation about what exactly happened, the nature of the blast, or whether it was a bomb attack or even a suicide attack. We heard plenty of reports, but until we hear some confirmation from official sides, we can only say that these are mere speculations. And uh, also five other people killed? Is that your understanding? This is not the... That's my understanding, but this is far from being a, the, the, the final toll. We don't really have some official uh, figure now. We are sure that five other people, uh, maybe passerbys or maybe also uh, some uh, members of the convoy of the, uh, the ex-minister were killed, but we are not sure about the number of casualties yet. It's a little bit messy, as you can see behind me. Um, it, it took everyone by surprise, like all blasts, but also because in this area, it wasn't really expected to happen and the nature of maybe the caliber of the figure who was targeted wasn't really so high that it would draw attention to the fact that he might be targeted. It's maybe for what he represents for the block he belongs to that this message was sent. Having said that, who could possibly be targeting him? Mohammed Shatter, as you say, maybe not as high profile a, a target as, as, as has been the case in the past. We don't know. We don't know who might have uh, targeted him. We know that Lebanon has been uh, rocked by a series of explosions recently. The security situation is extremely tense. It's not the first blast in the country. In different sides of the country, every single time we say that it is targeted because of its sectarian nature, or because of what of uh, the area where uh, or the block uh, the, the the figure belongs to, but. Everything is at the moment unclear. We don't really know. The only thing we know is that the situation is really bad, the tension is growing, and the targets seem to be various and from the